for today's qualifying session at the famous Hockenheim ring. The pit lane lights will turn green in the next minute or two to signify the start of qualifying. So coming up to around the last corner, uh, Germany, it's not my strongest track, so I don't expect to be on pole, but at the end of the first sector, we set a 17-0, I think that says, which is all right. Second sector, we set a 53.7, half a second slower than Kimi Räikkönen. To be fair, around the last goal, Hamilton sets a 116. We set a 118.2. That's not very good. We're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are Hamilton, Rosberg, and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. But yeah, we um, yeah, this track is not good for me. As, as you can tell, I qualify P10. It's not last place. It's all right. My teammate comes sick, so it looks like it's not a very good track for either Red Bulls. But uh, got a lot of work to do in the race. Hopefully, it's a dry race. Hopefully, there's a lot of problems. Hopefully, a lot of people go out. It is a Mercedes home Grand Prix, so they might do a lot. Like they might do a bit better. It was 1.3 seconds slower than. That's just embarrassing. But anyway, let's go into the race. But now we've got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the German Grand Prix. We have an alright start. Already tucked up behind our teammate. Had a bit of contact with the um, McLaren and the Ferrari, which is not what you want to see. We're up into eighth. We got past uh, Vettel. I can't remember who the McLaren was. Now up the inside of our teammate into seventh. Easy move. He left. We left him room on the outside, so there's no complaints there. But now lap two, up into turn two, I think that is. We get past Perez, and now along around this long turn three curves, we got slipstream round the inside, outside. That turns into the inside of Hulkenberg. Easy move into the hairpin, and Bottas and. Raikkonen have had a bit of contact as well as someone else I can't see who it is and we've managed to gobble him up I don't know why I said gobbling that sounds really bad but we're into P4 now I just spat on my screen which is always what you want to see but now that three we got problems around this left hander turn three I think I'm gonna class it as turn three we also need to get passed by the Force India but we managed to keep the inside line and keep it up the inside and keep the position. But now on exit, Hulkenberg, Perez I mean, sorry, has got past both of us. What a lovely little cheeky move from him. But now we're up into the inside. He leaves us room way too much, in my, uh, in my opinion. Should have easily closed that. Then we wouldn't have got the move. But now lap five into the pits like we must go to change our tyres. I was going to sing the little song. Into the pits, we must go. E I E I E I O. But didn't really seem appropriate, and I don't know why I shared that with you. But it's a alright stop. Not exactly world record breaking. Two point six. I think that says my mon. Oh, my screen is really small. And we've come out in twenty first place, behind in front of Raikkonen. To be fair, so I think he must have stopped too. But now, as we got this overhead shot, 
of us. We're going to go up the inside of the Renault. The banana car. Are we going to keep the position? Get the position? Yes, we are. And all of a sudden, we switch back to just a cluster of cars just parked up. So we've gained so many positions. I think it was 20th. And now we're in 19th. Now we're exceeding the uh, time. Look at the train behind us. Ugh. What a hectic couple of laps this has been. But now people have stopped in the pits on lap 7. And we're up into 5th place. So we're kind of back to where we were. So now we've got Hulkenberg in front of us. We're going to slipstream him. Are we going to try up the inside of turn 1? Yes we are. We cut the corner. But this was recorded a year ago. If this was recorded now. Easily would have given the position back. Now he's on the lap 12. We're going up the inside. But yeah, I would have given the position back, but back then I wasn't so friendly. But now, he's going up the inside, we've left him room. Round the outside we go, now we've got the inside line of this left-hander. Easily kept the position, well defended in my position, in my uh, opinion. So now we're in P4. But now, in this first DRS, second DRS straight, RS straight, he's just gone straight past us in that Mercedes engine and the DRS. And probably slipstream and probably rich mix. But we've had the inside line. We forced it out wide. We don't want to give this position up. But again, lap 15. Kimi Raikkonen is now having to go. Here. He's got managed to get past Hulkenberg. Sorry about that. I've got like hiccups. So that's but I don't know what you call it. But yeah, Hulkenberg has now got back past Raikkonen. Because we pushed Raikkonen off wide. But now in lap 17, Lewis Hamilton wins the German Grand Prix, the home Grand Prix for his team. And we come only fourth. It's not last, it's not first. It's a pretty good position in my opinion. Could definitely, definitely be a lot worse. But yeah, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. I think now he is leading the championship. I might be uh, wrong. I think he's helped Mercedes get even further ahead of us in the constructors, which isn't very good. Considering this season, well, this whole career mode, we want season, like, we want championship and constructors. But look, our teammate gets third. Good on him. But it's not first. There's the number 44 of Lewis Hamilton. Nico Rosberg does come second. I think Nico Rosberg's third in the championship, so I don't think he's that much of a threat to us. Daniel Ricciardo is definitely not a threat, so it doesn't really matter if he gets a podium or not. <sighs> but yeah, like, could be, yeah, it's not a big good track for me. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'd say Max Verstappen earns that title today. Opportunistic, I think, is the word. It's something he's become known for during his short career so far, and it's served him well here. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Force India this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. But yeah, we're uh, we're actually still a lead in the championship by 12 points. Sorry for a little tad bit of silence there. Uh, Nico Rosberg is third, as I thought. Kimi Räikkönen is fourth. Daniel Ricciardo is fifth. Sebastian Vettel is sixth. He's 137 points behind us. But in the constructors, Force India is actually overtaking McLaren Honda into fifth. We're 54 points behind uh, Mercedes. But anyway, I'll be Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.